time for a story. Story time. And we do it that we just kind of think of it as we go. Which makes me nervous. But Coco does really good at it these. It makes me excited. It makes her <laughs> the opposite feeling. De definitely opposite. Okay. So you want to start? Yes. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Jack. Okay. And Jack... <laughs> Jack wanted to do something amazing when he grew up but he just didn't know what he thought and thought and came up with different ideas after idea he he tried different things but some things he just wasn't good at and it really hurt his feelings because he felt like he wasn't great at something like some of the other kids in his class and his parents would try to encourage him and let him know that it's okay. You don't have to be good at everything. You don't have to be like the other kids in the class. You will find your way. But it still made him sad and didn't always make him feel the best. Jack tried out for volleyball, but he couldn't hit the ball. Jack tried to try it out for basketball, but he couldn't shoot the buckets. Jack tried soccer, but he couldn't get in the goal. Jack tried everything, but he just couldn't find his niche. <laughs> and he went on to try other things like singing and dancing and cooking he was a little okay at cooking but still almost burned down the house but his parents nevertheless were still supportive of everything he tried to venture into so one day jack when he went to sleep he said a prayer he said please please lord Guide me to do what I'm supposed to do. Guide me to greatness. Guide me to be able to be the best version of me. And when he woke up, he felt a tingle. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what it was, but he felt like he had to do something. Mm -hmm. So he went to his mama and he said, Mom, Mom, I got it. She said, what do you have, Jack? He said, I got it. I think I know what I want to do. The suspense was building and <laughs> his mom was asking his mom was very excited along with him like okay what is it you want to do he was like i just woke up this morning and i had a dream about it last night and i instantly knew what i was destined to be and it was jack wanted to go to clown school and his mom was appalled she said jack out of everything you want to be a clown he said, Mom, it's not just a clown. I want to be a clown and an acrobat. I want to make people laugh. I want to make people smile. The world is so serious. He wanted to bring joy to the world. What's so Jack went on, and then his mom said, Okay, Jack, we're going to put you in school. Okay, so they went, and they signed up for clown school. And when they signed up, they asked how old was Jack. And Jack was 10. He said, I'm 10. They said, you're gonna be our youngest clown heel. Are you sure you wanna go this route? He said, yeah, I could do it, I could do it. So they said, show us a juggle. So Jack started juggling and all the, whatever those pins fell to the ground. Then they said, okay, do a flip or something. And guess what, Jack couldn't do a flip either. Then Jack started crying. And then he remembered, he remembered that he had to just work hard. He just had to do it. He just had to try. So he said, give me a chance. And they gave him a chance. They said, okay, well, you got heart. So we're going to give you a chance. So on the first day of clown school, he was really excited. His parents dropped him off and he went in ready. There were a lot of people there that already knew how to do a lot of things and he was ready to go in so he started practicing juggling. It was harder than he imagined but he kept on going. He kept his heart in the right place. And then Jack had it. Not only did he learn how to juggle and do all this other fun stuff but he learned how to work his face so he would be like and do other clown faces. It made people laugh like you probably just did. And that see mom was laughing because you just it's like you have to he had to learn to put the motion in. Very a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. So then he became the number one clown from working so hard. He put his all into it. He was named Jack the Slibble Little Clown. 
Wow. And that, in fact, is a unique name. So, word got out about Jack. Not only did he start excelling in everything he was doing, but his parents were proud of him, and everybody around the world started to hear about Jack and how he had this great talent and ability to make people laugh. So, his first big show night was coming up. It came to the night, he was very nervous, but everybody, all his castmates and circus mates were telling him, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. So he gained up the confidence, he got ready to go out there, and Jack walked. He walked. He was trembling inside because he knew even though he was the best, the world didn't get to see him yet. And this was the night that he had to show them. So he walked to the center and then fire came around. He said, I am Jack. And Jack put on the best clown show anybody had ever seen. The whole world began to, the whole pe people in the arena began to scream. And then it got out to the world just how great Jack was. And as Jack got older, he became even greater. And he started to teach little kids all over how to be great clowns. Because Jack learned that just because you learned something, you shouldn't just keep it to yourself. True. Sometimes you're supposed to teach other people so they can be just as great too. And that is how Jack came about and did his thing. And then he continued to spread his talent and love all over the world and created many more clowns and people just like him who went on to make people laugh for centuries and centuries. And Jack knew he had finally fulfilled his purpose. And now he's known all over the world as Jack the Clown, who makes the faces like that. Make the faces, Mama. And that's the story of Jack the Clown. Yay! Jack, I'm sorry, Jack. Oh, the clown. Yeah. That's it. The clown. That was awesome, Coco. Thank you. Positivity. So we hope you all felt inspired by that. And like a story. <laughs> all right, now go learn something new and don't give up and be the best version of you. And if you have a great talent, teach somebody else that wants to learn like you do. So you can spread more joy and have more people like you. That's right. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble With pretty pigtails and a smile that makes us giggle What can we say? That's just Coco being Coco